Namaste and hello and welcome back to another video on the Metaphysical Library. In today's video, I'm going to share my TBR for um, Back to School Athon, which is a readathon which I came across while browsing some videos. And I did come across uh, this video which has been posted um, on Kirby, the Bookish Nurses channel. And uh, she belongs to the um, book club, uh, which is uh, a Facebook book club. And it's called, um, I believe, uh, The Bookworm Alley. And I will link the uh, the link to the video as well as uh, uh, the other necessary details in the description box below however before that please do join me further in this video is a readathon which would be uh, continuing from the 6th of August to the 13th of August 2021 and um, there are around four prompts for this particular uh, readathon and a bonus prompt uh, so the first prompt is to read um, a book which uh, has a strong female friendship within it so um, the book which I chose is called the school of for good and evil by uh, Soman Chenani and I hope you can see it's um, a really nice uh, book and although it has been released earlier but uh, this is the first time that I um, will be reading this book so uh, from the back of the book it reads as Sophie had waited all her life to be kidnapped every four years two children are stolen away from Gavaldon never to return most children fear being taken to the school for good and evil but not for Sophie. She has dreamt all her life of being a princess and believes the school could be her chance. Her best friend Agatha has other ideas. When the two children are taken, things don't quite go to Sophie's plan because sometimes the princess and the witch don't look like they do in fairy tales. So that's the first book uh, for the first prompt that I have chosen. Now this particular book also goes for the third prompt uh, of this particular readathon which is to read a book with a school setting. So since it is a school for good and evil definitely this goes along with it. Now uh, the second uh, challenge is to or the second um, prompt is to read a book which has um, a very pretty cover. So uh, for this I have chosen uh, one of my favorite authors which happens to be the fourth prompt which is to read a book from uh, or to read a book by one of your favorite authors. So this is called The Magic Far Away Tree by Enid Blyton and I used to read this a lot when I was in school. So um, these are actually three volumes packed in one and as you can see the cover is actually quite pretty over here. So um, from the back of the book it reads as Come on a magical adventure. Joe, Beth and Franny move next door to an enchanted wood and discover the faraway tree with its many different lands. They meet Moonface, Saucepan Man and Silky the Fairy and get to the slide down the slippery slip. There's always a new land at the top of the tree. Will it be the land of treats, the land of secrets or the land of take what you want so this these are three books in one so I'm not sure if I'll be able to complete all the three books in a week but um, I definitely will try to um, uh, at least read uh, the third book which is the last book because the bonus prompt is to read um, one of the books which um, is last in the series so this is a series of three books so the last book uh, is I believe um, I'm not too sure uh, the name of the book, but it's, I think, um, just give me a moment, please. Yes, it's called The Fork of the uh, Faraway Tree. 
that's the last book so i hope that i will be able to read uh, that particular book but i will start with book one first now the bonus prompt i believe is to read um a book which is the last of its series so i will definitely read this but there's another book which i have in mind which i'm really looking forward to read uh, it has been on my uh, bookshelf for quite some time and because it's uh, for children and for middle grade specifically i really didn't touch it but this readathon gave me an opportunity to read it and it's called the assassin nuns and the pirates of peppercorn bay by manisha anand and uh, the first book of this series is uh, The Assassin's Nuns of uh, Pistachio, also by Manisha Anand. So this is the first book and um, this is the second book which I'm planning to read in case if I get to the bonus prompt. And um, from the back of the book it reads as, Who knew that protecting sleepy little town of Pistachio could be such hard work? Even heroes need a holiday. So Anne and the assassin nuns pack their bags and kitchen equipment, as Sister Ruth insists, and heads off to the seemingly action-free Peppercorn Bay, where the only thing they're likely to attack is a plate of fish and chips. But Peppercorn Bay has a dubious history, and our unlikely bunch of habited superheroes have no choice but to confront it with a sword or two, if you please. So this is the book that I'm planning to get to in case if I manage to finish and admit it. So uh, my aim would be to finish all the three books, but I'm not sure if I can. Uh, so um, I will start with the last book for any Britain. Uh, so in case if it uh, if I am able to complete it, then obviously it does cover the bonus prompt as well. But if I do have time, I definitely will pick up this book as well. So these are the three books that I'm planning to read uh, for this particular readathon, and I'll definitely link all the details below. So um, that's all I wanted to share and I'm actually uh, quite happy to take part in this particular readathon and uh, I will see you soon with another video uh, because that's all I have for today. So till then take care, have a good reading week ahead and namaste.